Welcome back. Today we're making Jolene's casserole. The first thing I'm going to do is preheat my oven to 375 degrees. And while that's preheating, I'm going to go ahead and cut up my potatoes. I'm cutting up six large potatoes. This is going to be about six cups of potatoes. You can measure out your potatoes. I'm cutting these into chunks. And I am leaving the skin on because I like the skin. But if you don't like the skin, you can certainly cut the skin off. And I'm just putting it in a strainer so I can rinse these really well. And once I've got these rinsed, I'm going to put them in a large pot of water with about a teaspoon or so of salt. And I'm going to cook these until just fork tender. And once those are done, I'm going to go ahead and drain them. And I'm going to cut up 16 ounces of smoked sausage. I'm using turkey sausage, but you can use whatever kind you like. And then I'm going to go ahead and prepare my cheese sauce. And a medium-sized pot, I'm going to melt one stick of butter over medium heat. To that, I'm going to add a half a cup of flour. And I'm going to cook this for about a minute. I'm going to stir it, make sure that the butter and the flour are completely melted or mixed. And then to that, I'm going to add about a cup of milk. And I'm going to stir that until nice and smooth. And once that's good and smooth, I'm going to go ahead and add about another cup of milk or so. And I'm just going to stir that continuously. This is going to thicken up nicely. I'm going to add about another cup. And then once that's done, I'm going to add the last cup. So I'm adding four cups of milk total. And I'm going to let this cook for a few minutes. I'm going to keep stirring continuously. I want this to get nice and thick. And once it's gotten nice and thick, I'm going to add one pound of Velveeta cheese. You can use the off-brand if you'd like, whatever you happen to have, whatever you like. And I'm going to start stirring this with my spatula. I want to just stir this continuously. I want to make sure that my cheese melts nice and smoothly into my um, sauce. And then I'm going to add to a 9 by 13 pan that I spray with nonstick spray. I'm going to put my potatoes in. And once I've got the potatoes added, I'm going to add my sausage. And I'm going to give this a quick stir. Just going to use a large spoon, give it a nice stir, make sure everything's mixed pretty evenly. And then I'm going to pour my cheese sauce on. I'm going to pour that on and I'm going to give that a nice stir. I'm going to leave a little bit in the pot because I want to pour that over the top of this. And once that's done, I'm going to cover this with foil. And I'm going to put it in the oven. And I'm going to let this bake for about 35 to 45 minutes. And you can uncover it about the last 10 minutes. Then it'll get a nice golden brown. And that's all there is to it. It's quick. It's easy. And it's definitely family friendly. Thank you for watching. you enjoyed this video if you did be sure to give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more from me in the future be sure to hit that subscribe button down below i'm trying to post three videos a week two cooking and baking videos along with one randomness vlog i've been making this casserole for years now i actually found the recipe gosh i don't even know probably 15 years ago on a recipe website called recipes are which is now food.com it's a really good recipe website if you're looking for one and um, it's called Jolene's Casserole. I don't know why, but that's what it's called. So that's what I've always called it. It's quick, it's easy, and it's really family friendly. Everybody likes it. And actually, I like it when I have leftovers of it. I like to make an egg with it and eat it for breakfast. It's just a really good hearty breakfast. It's a hearty dinner. It's great leftover. And um, what's not to love? Cheese, potatoes, and sausage. You can't go wrong. But I think that's about it. I hope you guys have a great day. And remember, not every day is good, but there's always something good in every day. And I will see you next time.